Some of the more recent MCU films and shows have been hit or miss. A quality drop in favor of Disney pushing for quantity. Now that Feige has been promoted to the top boss of it all, he's taken a step back and a deep look at all the projects. And kind of cleaned house. A bunch of planned projects were canceled, some were rearranged, and some reshot and retooled. This is the first year that only one Marvel movie will hit theaters after all. So people have been curious once again what's going on. Before we begin, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Every new sub helps us achieve our goal and keeps us motivated to create new content. With that being said, I'm your host, Jamie, and here are five MCU theories for phases five and six. Number one, Deadpool and Wolverine. After numerous set leaks and the official trailer having dropped, not to mention the clip that was shown at CinemaCon, we theorize that the plot in Deadpool and Wolverine will revolve around Deadpool being recruited into the TVA to merge the Fox timeline with the MCU timeline. Now, to break it down, in the Fox Marvel films, there were several timelines that were both connected and unconnected. And yet Deadpool, being the fourth wall breaking character he is, was able to make references to all of these properties as if he could see simultaneous timelines. I believe that he will be brought to the TVA in order to merge these timelines into a single stream, fixing any continuity issues in an attempt to make it a new sacred timeline, possibly for one of the Kong variants. And things will go wrong, ending up with some of these characters spilling into the MCU timeline. Now, after the way things ended in Loki Season 2, it seems that Loki was happy to let infinite amounts of timelines to exist congruently. So I doubt he will interfere, unless the actions could result in wiping out these timelines. Which is quite possibly what these incursions are. With that said, this results in a paradox event. There can't be more than one end of time, and given that the agent who is essentially hiring Deadpool is named Paradox, I believe that his job is to solve these time anomalies and correct them into the natural flow so that it won't cause another time collapsing event. I think that Deadpool will be allowed to recruit certain characters who are doomed to be deleted so that if they die in battle, it won't cause another incursion. Kind of like what was set up in Spider-Man No Way Home. But this will cause a major paradox event to occur, setting up Battle World in the future. As kind of a Highlander, there can only be one moment of who gets to stay in the MCU. Number 2. The Fantastic Four While we haven't seen any trailers yet, Plenty of artwork as well as a cast list has been released. So there was enough there for us to theorize what might happen in the film. It most definitely will start in an alternate reality. Kind of like Fallout where 60s sci-fi imagination became future reality. Flying cars, space travel, robot butlers, and more. Now... In this universe, the Fantastic Four will be the big hero team that protects the planet, and most likely will be years into them having formed. No origin story since we basically know what happened to them. And possibly, Reed Richards already having formed the Council of Reeds. Suddenly, Silver Surfer crashes into the planet, but unlike main comic continuity, it's not Norrin Rad. It's Shambhala, and her warning isn't just that Galacticus is coming, but maybe that an incursion is happening, and something was able to possibly kill Galacticus of this universe. Since this won't have been the first time they've heard of Galacticus, Reed might already have the ultimate nullifier and think maybe he can use that, 
or the recovered infinity stones of that universe, or whatever, to try and stop the incursion from destroying their universe. But no luck, everything is ending. In a last ditch effort, Reed creates a kind of lifeboat to try and get as many people out of the universe and safely into a new one. But something goes wrong, and the Fantastic Four are suddenly sucked into the main MCU reality, while the other survivors go wherever. Maybe Doctor Doom's doing behind the scenes, maybe interference by the Beyonders, or maybe just a random cosmic accident. I believe the film will end with them setting foot in whatever year it currently is in New York of the main MCU and run into a cameo appearance made by Spider-Man or Doctor Strange, someone with some experience of multiverse travel, and that's where the film will end. Number three, speaking of the multiverse, there are several theories about why the incursions are happening. Could it be because Wanda dreamwalked? Was it because Darbin opened a tear in space and time? Was it Loki undoing the sacred timeline? All of those could be factors, sure, but I think we were introduced to the American Chavez for one reason. She is solely responsible for the collapse of the multiverse. It's been established there's only one of her. There aren't multiple versions. She is a singular entity that only existed in one reality. And in that reality, her parents got sucked into a wormhole she created. And she has been hopping through universes searching for them, leaving holes all over in the fabrics of countless realities. Even if she is doing this unknowingly. These holes create a vacuum which pull other dimensions into each other, causing them to collide and thus wipe each other out in these incursion events. While it is very much possible for the MCU to introduce the Beyonders and Molecule Man for the upcoming Secret Wars film, I think it's more likely that she will be the catalyst for these events. And in the end, when she realizes what she has been doing, she's going to create some kind of super wormhole network or so that pulls in as many survivors as she can into one singular dimension, Battle World. That, or it's possible that someone like Dr. Doom captures her and forces her to use her powers to do this. Hey folks, sorry to interrupt, but we just launched our very own merch store at fatninja.shop. Uh, we sell everything from t-shirts, hoodies, mugs, and more, so we would greatly appreciate it if you checked it out. All the proceeds go to our future projects, so uh, it helps us make any kind of you know, movies and, and short films that we want to make in the future. So, um, if you got time, check out FatNinja.shop. Uh, thanks again, and uh, back to the video. Number 4, Thunderbolts and Captain America 4. With what we know from CinemaCon and the new slots these films were placed in, I think Thunderbolts will set up the Dark Avengers, which of course will put them against odds with the likes of the new Captain America and remaining Avengers, as they oust President Ross and retake control of the superhero team. A kind of Civil War II storyline. By the end of the film, we will see the complete new lineup of the new Avengers team, which will be the main focus of Captain America 4, which will see him and a few of the new team members either take on AIM, otherwise known as Advanced Idea Mechanics, or a new form of Hydra. Since it seems like they're setting up Kingpin to become mayor of New York City and invest in more companies and brand, I think it's more likely they will go down the aim route. Now, why is this important when the universe seems to be in danger of colliding with another universe? Because it will draw a huge divide in the people where they will end up mistrusting superheroes again, as well as mutants and anything else with powers. And that people like Kingpin, who want to put technology in the hands of the people to better their lives, will start to look more impressive. 
And so when the Avengers begin warning of this massive threat, people will think they are just bullshitting so they can stay in the spotlight, like after Infinity War. Number 5. Celestial Uprising Lastly, after the events of the Secret Wars wrap up, and those who survived will become the mainstay characters of future MCU films, I believe it will be Celestials who step in, possibly with the help of the heart of the universe, or something equivalent, in order to shape a new universe for them all to live in and worship them as gods. So all the heroes, and even villains, will have to band together to take them on, as well as God of Time, Loki, and maybe God Emperor Doom and Franklin Richards to destroy these Celestials and recreate the multiverse where everyone can live with free will. Not much is known yet about the Celestials in MCU. We've only seen a handful of them sprinkled throughout, but we do know they are capable of creating new life as well as destroying it. As much as the Eternal film would have benefited from being a miniseries rather than a film, we did get kind of enough backstory to realize these guys are a massive threat, and that their plan is to rule the multiverse. Now, we haven't really seen any of the other higher cosmic beings yet outside of Eternity, and some hints of the Living Tribunal. But I'm willing to bet that these entities are what created the Celestials to worship them. Kind of like some Lovecraftian Elder God thing. And then the Celestials rebelled because they believed themselves to be gods in their own right. Most of them were wiped out in some massive war that spanned the multiverse. And the rest went into hiding, spreading their seeds into various planets and absorbing the life force of creatures who were created to replace them. But much like we as human beings don't fear an ant, that is, until it's part of a whole colony and they swarm you, the one above all doesn't concern himself with these remaining celestials until they now have grown their army once again and rise up for a second rebellion. Now, with all that being said, I don't think this will happen instantly after Secret War ends. I'm sure we will get our X-Men movies first and more Earth-based films to build up new characters and their struggles. While in the background, all the celestial stuff happens until, let's say, 2030. We'll then get a big Avengers-level film. Before that, we might see Avengers vs. X-Men, and then who knows? some new kind of team forms, or the film will simply just be called Celestial War. Either way, I think that's where we're heading. Thanks for checking out the video. What are some of your theories? Let us know in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to tap that bell icon to stay up to date with our latest releases. You can reach out to us on Twitter or X at Studios Fat or chat with us on Discord, linked below. Make sure to check out our very own merch store located at FatNinja.shop. All proceeds go toward our next film project, so we'd greatly appreciate it. I've been your host, Jamie. Thanks again, and take care.